afternoon, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFTs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets, a midday update on the Thursday, the 7th of September 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so uh, droggy day is certainly over. Uh, let's just uh, sort of uh, assess the aftermath or the, the, the damage. And the damage is that the euro USD has spiked above 1.2050, given the fact that Mr. Draghi failed to talk the euro down. Growth projections, inflation projections, not exactly what everybody was expecting, okay? Hence the reason why we're seeing a short squeeze in the euro. Dollar debauchery continues, even though Mr. Trump did actually um, uh, hand over the, uh, the, 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 the keys to the uh, Democrats. Uh, he certainly uh, gave in. Whether or not that's a, a way of punishing the Republicans for doing nothing at all for the last six months, given the fact that uh, they failed to pass any law or into uh, into uh, legislation at all, okay? Uh, now, given the fact that we actually got the three-month extension on the debt ceiling and also, uh, obviously, the uh, additional aid for uh, Hurricane is it Katrina or Harvey, I can't remember now, we've got Hurricane Irma pending as well, and I think there's two other hurricanes or two other potential storms that are being upgraded as well, so again, it's not looking good. We'll see what the damage is to Florida going into the weekend. We also have North Korea as well, saber rattling that continues, okay, given the fact that there was a statement out earlier on today, given the fact that they want to uh, certainly uh, retaliate and uh, certainly, given, especially given the fact that uh, the, uh, the South Koreans certainly have the third system, the Chinese have been obviously uh, uh, basically lobbying against that, okay, and you also have the situation where Mr. Kim uh, potential um, situation there of uh, a, an oil embargo as well and that certainly isn't going to uh, uh, certainly get clear things up if anything it's going to exacerbate things so from that perspective you have North Korean concerns you have the situation also with regards to uh, jobless claims has come out now the US certainly came in higher than expected so again that certainly is a negative read and we'll see how that how, how to interpret that from but from my perspective the biggest uh, bearish argument at present is the euro usd certainly spiking above 1.20 now again that certainly is is bearish and that will hurt the um, the ability for european uh, companies to export okay so again bear that in mind okay that's the status quo other than that we've had uh, german industrial production came in weaker this morning uh, French uh, import slightly stronger, export slightly stronger, but not as strong as the uh, imports, and therefore the French trade balance certainly negative. Again, that certainly exerts further pressure on the euro to a large extent. Uh, Halifax house prices in the UK certainly rising. Uh, European GDP came in more or less in line. ECB obviously deposit rate, and uh, Mr. Draghi is leaving things as they stand. Okay, so that's the status quo. Let's move on. In terms of technical picture, let's just see exactly what's happened to the DAX here. The DAX is holding resistance at the key 12, 330 zone. Okay, uh, again, like I said, a stronger euro is certainly bearish for the Jack DAX and certainly looking for weakness in the German DAX to ensue. We have an unfilled gap below at 1.1, 1.212, 220. So again, looking for that uh, potential gap to close. That would be my target if I was trading the DAX. Currently short the euro stocks, and I'll explain that setup to you. But certainly very uh, similar to the German DAX, certainly based on the DAX. And we are looking to close that gap on the back of a stronger euro. So the euro currently trading around the 1.2040, and therefore that's risk negative for European exports. 10-minute chart on the French CAC, you can see we certainly have experienced weakness. Uh, daily chart did have an inverted head and shoulders formation, but that p formation was only valid if Mr. Draghi obviously talked the euro down. That hasn't been the case, okay? That has not been the case at all, and therefore that's risk negative. You can see the bearish channel certainly holding at present. 60-minute chart on the French CAC at the moment held horizontal resistance gap fill, okay? Uh, you are looking for a reversal now from my perspective, certainly looking to potentially pull, push lower. Uh, pushing lower, your next potential level of support really is seen around this 5100. So I'd certainly be expecting 5100 on the next level. That would be my expectations here, 5100 on the uh, the French CAC. Okay, now in terms of the Euro stocks, I'll explain myself to you as well. You've break, broken out of the bullish channel, and therefore you are now looking for the price fraction to move lower. 60-minute chart certainly held that resistance at 3467. And again, from my perspective, you're moving lower to close that gap. The gap that needs to close is around the 3430 zone. So watch out for the gap at 3430, folks. Okay, watch out for that gap. In terms of FTSE 100, certainly my bias is again turning bearish now, given the fact that uh, 
If you look at the daily chart at the moment, you've certainly bounced off the uh, the oversold expectations. But you are now coming into this resistance now. Let me just show you this. Okay, so pivot high, pivot low, and you are now into that fib 61%. Now we could potentially go higher up 7403, but then you are looking at testing the fib 75% as well. So for my understanding and my expectations, we're certainly looking to move lower on the uh, on the actual FTSE 100 itself. Okay, so one chart below for the FTSE. Again, certainly will be under pressure. Certainly intraday double top here as well. Uh, looking to flush. If we do flush lower, then your next level of support is going to be around the 7360 zone. So watch out for 7360 support. Okay, I think that's a good summation really of European equities. My bias certainly is lower given the fact that the Euro USD certainly has spiked and therefore you are looking for a risk aversion. On that note, uh, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye now.